Hello everyone, welcome back to Force Fellow. My name is Ashok. Today in this video, we will discuss about a newly introduced feature in LWC that is Toast Container. This feature was initially introduced with Summer 23 release in beta version, but now with Winter 24 release, it is generally available. And before jumping to practical implementation, first let's understand what is Toast Container and how it can help us. So you know, when we work on custom UI development in Salesforce, then nowadays we generally use LWC instead of Visual Force pages and Aura components. And to show a notification or message, we generally use Toast. Let me show in my org what I'm talking about. Here in my org, I have already created a LWC component which has one button. Now let's say on clicking of this button, you want to show a message to user. Then in this case, as I said, generally we use Toast messages in LWC and that will look like this. Here with this Toast message, most of the things are configurable. I mean with this Toast message, we can define what should be this title and what should be this message and this background color and also we can define close mode like auto close after few seconds or user have to click on this close icon, right? So this kind of things we can set up in our component while showing Toast message. But we can't define how many Toast messages can be visible at a time and on which position they should display. I mean by default this toast will appear in top center position here but let's say we want to show it in different position like here on top left or in top right or let's say we want to show somewhere in bottom then that option was not available as of now and also only three toasts can be visible at a time for example let me click multiple times on this button I clicked five to six times but we can only see three active toast on the screen. Now, once I close any of these, then next will come out. You can see number six is displayed now, which means by default only three toast can be active or visible on the screen. All right. Now, if we talk about toast container, then we can say toast container is a placeholder or container which can hold and show toast messages. Salesforce by default add toast container on each page with default configurations like max toast visibility count is 3 and display position is top center. Okay. Now you might be thinking that toast messages are available from beginning. How this can be a new feature? Yeah, that's correct. Toast messages and container both are available from beginning. But now Salesforce introduced a new module in LWC that is toast container. Why? Because using this container module, we can override default container settings with custom values. It means using Toast container module, we can customize Toast display position and count. Okay. So if someone asks you why Toast container is required and how it can help us, then we can say it helps us to set custom display position for Toast messages and also help us to define count. And Toast container support these all positions like top left, top right, top center and bottom left, bottom right and bottom center. Okay. Now I think you have fair understanding about what is Toast container and how it can help us. So now let's practically see how we can customize Toast position and size using Toast container. And for that, let me open VS code. Here I already created a SFDX project and authorized with org and also created a LWC component and added it to Salesforce org. This is the same component which we have seen few minutes back in my org. As we have seen there, in this component, we have a show toast button and defined on click handler and created this handler method in JS file. And here we are showing a toast message using show toast event. And this is how we are defining configurations for toast. Like here we are defining title, message, variant, and mode. Variant support four values info, success, warning, and error. And mode support two dismissible and sticky. If you want Toast to close automatically after few seconds, then set dismissible as mode. Or if you don't want it to automatically close, you want user to close it, then set sticky as mode. Default mode is dismissible. Okay. Now let's say instead of showing Toast in top center position of screen, we want to show it in bottom center. So now how we can achieve this using Toast container and you know, if we want to use any method or class from existing module, then first we have to import that. So let me write code to import Toast container.
okay this is how we can import toast container from lightning toast container module now to change toast configurations we have to create a new instance of this toast container and it's depend on us when and where we want to change configurations let's say for now we want to change on component load i mean whenever this component get load then we also want to change toast settings and for that let's use connected callback lifecycle hook and write code here okay so here what we have done first we have added connected callback lifecycle hook and under this hook here we have created instance of toast container and in toast position property we have assigned bottom center as value which means now what it will do whenever this component will get load on dom then it will override default toast container which is available in lightning page and set display position to bottom center here we can assign any supported value out of those six like top center left right or bottom left right and center okay so now as per this configuration toast messages will visible in bottom center instead of top center position how it will be done so for that let me deploy this component and show you in browser here let's click on this show toast button all right now instead of top center we can see toast message in bottom side of screen if you want to understand how it happened like technically what salesforce is doing in backend to show this toast message in bottom side of screen if you want to understand this then let me show you using inspect window here let's select this inspect option and click on this toast box and now here you can see this is the toast container due how do i know due to this toast container css class and here you can see bottom and center css classes are added if i will remove this bottom css class then it will display in default position like this right so in backend salesforce is only managing display position by using css classes for now let me add that bottom again okay and this message container will be unique for whole page which means now on this page if you'll try to show toast message from anywhere either from this component or from other components then that toast will be visible in this same container it simply means now default container is overridden with new instance of container okay so this is how we can set custom display position for toast messages here we have seen with bottom center position but you can set up for other positions as well like bottom left bottom right top left top center or top right okay but still only three toast visible at a time let me click multiple times here on this button see still only three toasts are visible at a time and once i close any of these then new toast will come out all right now if we try to show more than three toasts at a time then what we have to do let's open our vs code again to see that in practical now in that case we just need to set value in one more property of toast container that is max toasts let me set that here okay we have assigned five in max toast property in toast container which means now we can see five toast messages at a time let's deploy this component and test it again now let's click multiple times on this button all right now we can see five toast at a time which means this is working as expected and we have overridden default max size that is 3 so this is how using toast container we can set max toast count and display position as per our requirement these things are not much required in general salesforce applications but in experience cloud or community sites this is mostly required as per website theme all right so that's it in this video where we have practically seen what is toast container and how it can help us in next video I will show you a new way to show toast messages without using show toast event. I mean now Salesforce introduced a new way to show toast messages using toast module. 
There I will explain to you why and when we should use toast module instead of show toast event. All right. If this video helped you to learn something new, then please hit on like and subscribe button. If you have any questions or suggestion, then please feel free to share with me or comments or email. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in next video.